You see, if you're not using AI right this minute, then you're going to get lost behind the competition. Everyone and their mothers are using AI, except my mum. She doesn't really know what AI is, and I do want to teach her what it is. But the truth is, if you don't use it, it's like the equivalent of being a business and not using the internet and then losing out on, well, everything the internet has caused in the last 20 years. And by the way, guys, none of these are sponsored. I've done my own research and I use them in my day-to-day -day life. The first is video.ai. Now, I was told this by a friend of mine from Australia, actually my fiance's friend, and he said that you can take your existing full videos and repurpose them into short form videos. So let's say you're a company and you hire one influencer, or let's say you hire 10 influencers and you pay them each for one sponsored video. Well, if you take the full footage of that influencer, if you get them to give it to you, you can upload this into video.ai. Literally, all you do is sign up, upload the footage onto the website, and then they give different options on what kind of short form videos. So like TikToks, Reels, they give you different templates, they present it in a professional way, and also they have AI generated captions as well. So it saves you a lot of time. I honestly think with this app, the days have gone where you have to individually edit your TikToks and Reels. Just film the full video, or if you're a company, hire someone to do that, and then shove it into this app. So that's video.ai for you. Now, the second one is a game changer if you're a content creator, or again, even if you're a business and you're marketing a video that you've asked someone to film. So this is Gling.ai, and my goodness, it's a game changer. It literally takes your raw footage and cuts out the bloopers without you needing to individually do it yourself, because trust me, it takes ages, and I mean, there's always gonna be bloopers. And if you wanna see some of mine, I can put them at the end. But the point is, there's always gonna be bloopers. And it's just long and so not worth your time to sit there editing each tiny bit out. And I mean, of course, you can hire editors to do so, but this literally chops it all up for you. So you need to download the app. I've just opened up the app and you just literally drag your video in. Here is one of my footages and I tested it out, guys. It's literally insane. Just to show you what I mean, take a look at this. You can click skip cuts and then it gives you the version of your video with all the cuts that are not needed skipped. So these were all bloopers, as you can see, one minute, 12 seconds of bloopers, and then it goes directly into where the video should have started. So this is my previous video. Also, when there's a new piece of technology, it it's really cool because you can even re-add things that they've accidentally deleted. So I can cut this, I can re-add this back. So this is a time saver for me, guys. So. This is a serious time saver if you're a content creator or if you're a business or you're a marketing company making videos and making social media content for different companies. This is a game changer. Obviously, you're not going to negate the fact that you do actually need the raw footage and you do need to actually put yourself on camera and actually talk. But if you already can do that, then this will save you time when it comes to uploading. The next one is Adobe Firefly, and this one's really cool for generative AI. Basically, you can make graphics, pictures, based on the text that you feed into the AI, and that is using their text to image. There's also generative fill and text effects, and they are working on other ones. There's generative recolor, which is also there, and now they're working on 3D to image, but just to show you guys how it works, I created an image with my dog, who is actually sitting behind me. Can you see him on camera? Yeah, you can. <laughs> I made an image of him and I facing the universe. I just wrote it down in the text box. Look, Cavachon dog, 27 year old woman with dark hair. That literally looks like my dog. Isn't that cool? I think that's really cool. I also played around with generative fill and I found it really useful to take out, let's say you've taken a photo on holiday and you wanna take out the people in the background, you can literally scribble them out and the AI fills in the background for you. It's pretty cool. It's the closest thing I've seen that works without looking fake. 
Now the next one is DocuAsk, and I think this can really benefit companies and even self-employed people. Simply upload the document to DocuAsk and ask any questions you can. You can even build a chat box. Let's say you're a company and you have pages and pages of documents. You can simply upload these documents and allow customers to chat directly with your materials. So this will be the chat bot that analyzes the documents that you already have and answers the questions on your behalf. Now, lastly, this one is a very easy one to install, and that is just simply a chat GPT writer extension. This is great for writing emails and grammar fixes. So if you're already in your email inbox, you don't want to open up chat GPT and have to enter in what you need to ask or ask the context of the email. You just simply use the extension and pop it up when you want to send an email just like so then you can enter your command in for AI. And when you go into your email, this actually is tailored to the email. You just simply copy paste the email in and then it will say, okay, what kind of response would you like the AI to create for you? Now, I know I mentioned five AI apps, but the sixth one I have to mention as a bonus in this video. Now, this one is better for businesses that have more than one employee. And again, you have to see if the costs outweigh the benefits. And I do think it does when you scale. Now, this is called Microsoft Copilot Studio. Now, what's cool about Copilot is that you can customize it depending on your business needs. It can help tailor responses to specific business situations like compliance and regulatory topics. You can also boost your productivity by automating workflows. So automating complex business tasks such as submitting expenses, which can be tedious and long. You can just create the plugin via the Microsoft uh, Copilot and it does it for you. You can also connect business applications that aggregate your data. So applications such as SAP and Workday with your Copilot. And then you can also create your own custom plugins depending on what you need. Maybe you need to analyze your sales data and you need to create a specific type of input into your employee's work schedule sheet that they need to go this many times. This plugin system can help you do whatever you want pretty much. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped. If it did, hit that like button down below and that subscribe button and that bell notification. And leave a comment down below if there are any AI softwares or apps that you use that you think the audience need to know. And also that I need to know because I love AI. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.